this accessory socket plug and cable held 15 amps during a recent test of a power bank into an electronic DC load. So how come this plug is able to hold a sustained 15 amps when the cheaper ones that I bought were having trouble at 10 amps? So this cable was supplied with uh, this old Maplin inverter, 300 watt inverter. Now 300 watts of heating effect on the main side gives you 25 amps at 12 volts. So this came with two cables, one to crop clips, and that lead actually has a 35 amp fuse. But uh, these cigarette lighter sockets can't go over 15 amps, and therefore this would have had to be derated when used in conjunction with this cable and a car accessory socket. But let's find out how it's able to hold 15 amps. Well, we'll start here with the fuse. And of course, it's a 15 amp fuse. So there it is, 15 amps, 250 volts. And you can see it's got a whopping great slab of metal in there. So yeah, high current fuse. The next thing is the spring. It's copper colored, but is it pure copper? Can you make a spring? out of pure copper. Let's test it with a magnet. And as you can see, no attraction at all. So yeah, maybe this is a pure copper spring. Or maybe it's brass or something like that, but certainly uh, better than those flimsy, thin, lightweight steel springs that you get in the cheap plugs that melt at 10 amps. Okay, let's take out the screw and see what other features this has. That means it can hold 15 amps. Now, one would hope this is a thermo setting plastic uh, so that it doesn't melt when it gets warm. But uh, let's take a look inside here to see what trickery they're using. Well, one of these uh, negative side springs isn't used, so I'll take that out to uh, avoid confusion. But it appears that the spring sits down inside this positive receptacle and the fuse when pushed against the spring actually sits inside the metalwork. Now typically I've seen that when you push down against a spring it tends to push the fuse out one way or the other so there should be a bit of force from the fuse against the actual connection that it's making with the positive cable but the fuse, uh, the spring also being copper or brass or bronze or something like that also means there's a good conductive path down to the bottom of that. And if we look down the end of this, which I'll need to illuminate, you can see that there are a couple of, if I can get the illumination on it, a couple of wings of metal in there that the spring presses against. So yes, there's a very good connection between the fuse and the positive metalwork. And of course the negative is, connect is soldered straight onto the negative metalwork. So there's very little resistance in here for things to get hot. So yeah, the cheap ones of these are cheap and nasty. And if you want your uh, cigar plug or accessory socket plug to be able to take 15 amps, although you wouldn't normally pull that from a car accessory socket because you might find that what's behind the socket isn't really up to 15 amps, but uh, the, this plug certainly was able to withstand 15 amps with no drama. Uh, you need one of these quality ones with copper spring.